All right, this is day two. We are actually in the same location of day one, but in the basement this time. And there is our art person just staring straight into the camera because she loves to mess with me, just like how I love mess with everyone else. So today is kind of a different day. I had to play music today, so I had to like do a lot of different stuff aside from just like help them lighting and you know whatever. We had a PA come in that in the end she ended up not doing much because like there wasn't much for her to do. It's not like she didn't do anything. So I just kind of had her run BTS and she just kind of stayed behind his couch the whole time. She was kind of afraid. She's kind of new, so you know, it's understandable. But we got a lot of clips and I didn't really want to overload everything with the same stuff over and over. So, um, you know, I just put in whatever I could and it's kind of like the same scene this entire time. It actually is the same scene. This whole day is just one scene. So this is daytime again. It was supposed to be nighttime. It's a continuation from the scene last night. And that big window on the right, uh, we actually like blocked it out and uh, put a light in it to simulate moonlight, which in my opinion, it seemed too bright, but you know, I'm not the gaffer window. I, I helped them set it up. I wish we had a footage of it, but you know, we just never got it because like I was doing all the stuff, and that was when the the PA just came in and she was helping us out too. So we're just kind of get it done as quick as we can. We came in like I think an hour earlier than the actual call time to kind of get this done because like that was a tricky setup, and uh, since the whole scene, the whole day. It's kind of the same setup, same lighting setup most of the time. We kind of, uh, it was pretty simple for us. So that little area with the light there, kind of the bar scene, bar bar area there. We use the lights, the, the actual house lights in there, but they put some ND filters over it so it won't be as bright. Just so we can like, you know, control it a little bit. In the end, my gaffer still put a light in there. I'm like, okay, but you know, it is pointing at the subject a little more, so it has its actual purpose. Yeah, right there. Like Thank you. That's great. So same intention, just we're not gonna get too close yet. Right, which I think makes a lot of sense. Okay, great. Okay, let's reset. It's like the please. Today's setup, I built the camera a little bit differently. I put a V-mount on the back so the monitor can run off it and the camera can run off the battery there because the day before we are like not struggling but it was real close to not having enough battery power to finish off the day and I didn't want that to happen again so I just kind of, I was like, hey, let's just run my batteries so we don't need to worry about your batteries, you know? And it could be kind of a backup as well. So that's what we did. And I didn't have to worry about like using an NPF battery for the monitor, you know, cause that kind of sucks. So here I am, I'm about to change the V-mount battery in the back here. Uh, this isn't really exactly the best view, but I'll show you a better view in a second. But um, it's basically, it's real simple. It's just V-mount with cables connected to it. So here's a better view. You can actually see an MPF on there, on the monitor, but I put that there just to kind of a, a backup, just in case like it goes out, you know, we can kind of still see picture, I guess. I don't remember why actually. Um, I am running it, the power from the V-mount plate. So there's that. 
Right? It's also a very specific type of Oh my gosh. Like, generally, it's so Maybe we should. Uh, we should buy them once a year. So, like, yeah. Well, did I tell you, like, this, like when I went to go buy that, like, even this? I went to the guy who yeah. was like, Let's finish oh, this man. Because, like, I will play the song so she's on the right tempo. Like, do it a couple times without. And he was like, Is this for a vape? Let's do it. And I was like, no, I it's a life So at this point, I am building the gimbal in the back. He can't see it because, like I said, the PA, she didn't want to yeah. get closer. But I am building the gimbal. We're, like, making sure things are going to work properly. McGaff was setting up an MC. Things keep changing. <laughs> My gimbal setup is an underslung setup in kind of a two-hand, kind of like the old, old-school Ronin type setup. As you can see here, the DP is holding the gimbal with the easy rig. I designed this so I can have an easy rig, so it won't be so destructive on the back. But then, like the easy rig, kind of limits how high you can go, especially if you're like shorter. Like the DP, she's kind of short, you know, so she's kind of limited on how high she can go, which was a huge limitation to the whole process of filming. But you know, they made it work somehow. And I kind of have more pictures after this to help that um, that short that shortness. Okay, let's run it again. Here we are looking at the shot because we need to change the lighting setup. The light in that bar room, like we can't have it there anymore, but we want kind of a similar source. So we're making a DP go through the movement with the actors kind of blocking it so we can know what uh, we need. My idea, which did work in the end, was to have a boom arm with a light pointing up and kind of bouncing it. So here we are, you can't really see it. We've set up a boom arm. We're about to swing it out and bounce the ceiling in the bar room there. It looks kind of janky, but it's not. Trust me, people do this all the time. Their first AD, she was kind of scared, but I was like, trust me, we put heavier stuff here. We put a china ball on this, and it worked quite well. So I'm going to talk over this shot slash scene here because this is kind of a spoiler if you are watching it through here. So... I think this is our first take, or I think we're still blocking at the same time. We're actually not rolling because like this is a dialogue scene. So our DP, she's kind of figuring it out, and uh, this is kind of a somewhat of a reveal for the storyline. And they're trying to combine several shots into one, which, in my opinion, might not be the best idea because you know you kind of have to, you're kind of forced to do things, and um, we're we're kind of happy that my setup worked and uh even though it's real close like it worked well so here i'm about to boom because this like we needed some height so it, you know it won't hit the easy rig and a dp because my sound mixer right there he's a little bit shorter he's he's not that much shorter but like i kind of have an easier reach and also he can he's able to like mix it as i boom so it's a little bit easier so he doesn't have to move and I just have to move like my arms, you know? So this is why I did it. And we're still kind of learning it. Uh, this is probably like 30 minutes in. We haven't filmed anything yet. Uh, we kind of figure everything out, but uh, we're about to shoot pretty soon. So uh, I think everything worked out for the better for how long it took. So here I'm going to talk over it again. This is going to be the last clip for this BTS video. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a revealing spoiler alert. So I don't want anyone to kind of be spoiled before the movie comes out. But here I am booming and you're going to see the entire movements. Being tall does have an advantage, specifically if you're doing sound. And also cameraman, like if you're tall, you have advantage of that too. Because I mean... Like I was talking about earlier, you know, the easy way kind of gave some limitations of the height. But I was able to boom over as far as I can and not get in the way of the DP when they move. So, you know, I'm glad I'm kind of tall. I'm not the tallest person in the world, but, you know, it worked out for the better. And here we are. I'm not going to explain what's happening because uh, that's going to spoil it a little bit. But that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.